guys. Well, we're still waiting on the parts. Um, I figured we'd get this motor ready. Uh, I'm dying to see what it looks like on the inside. Uh, the outside's pretty good. I like it that they have a really nice thick cord on it. The phase wires are nice and chunky. Like, you should be able to put 40 amps and up more through that without issue. Uh, very good. You don't get that on the hub motor, that's for sure. Uh, what I would like to do with the motor itself is obviously we can't put a fan on this side but uh, we're gonna take the plate off and open up these holes so it gets more air through it in the back we'll probably put a DC fan in here and then only open up the holes that are uh, covering the fan and leave the other ones closed that way they'll draw more air through and uh, that should work out pretty good. I'm actually surprised that it has star screws holding it together. I, you'd figure a, a chunky motor like this would have like bolts or something through it. No, it's just screws go all the way through. So we're gonna take this part and uh, try it out. All right, we'll see how hard it is to get this thing open. Jeez. Personally, I think it would have been better built if they used uh, some kind of nut versus these. I know the last one's going to be the hardest one. It always is. Now for the back, I would like to use a server fan, something loud that pulls a lot of CFM. Let's see what this build quality is like on the inside. Not as bad as I thought it would be. This stuff is nice thick windings. Um, we're gonna have to take this apart. I need a wrench, two wrenches, one in there and one in there. So we pull that right off and get the uh, stator out or the um, magnet out. That's what it looks like on the back. It's funny because it has huge holes on the inside, which you would want, and then tiny little pinholes on the outside. That's weird. Yeah, so if you're trying to get this off, it is the opposite thread. So don't go this way, go this way, and just hold the shaft. I uh, actually didn't find this one that tight, which is good. And I don't know what I did with the other, there was another uh, two different sizes that came with it. Can't find it, I don't know where it went. Hopefully didn't lose it. There we go. Oh, what's it gonna take to get this out? I don't know if I want it to go that way. Um, there we go. Get started. Well, that looks nice and unwarped, eh? <laughs> This is going to be fun to get out. Oh, it has a built-in fan too, which I never noticed. Which makes no sense with all these little tiny holes. So even, well that's kind of cool. We could actually rely on that somewhat. Not 100%, but uh, yeah. 
And there's your magnets. So basically the strap is the only thing holding the magnets down. That's kind of scary. I really don't see a lot of glue on there. Are these even magnets? What what is it? What type of metal is this? It's seamless metal. So maybe it's been pressed on. Hmm. Personally, what I would love to do. Okay, it's been pressed this way too. Yeah, so if this flies apart, it's going to fly apart. What you could do is you could dip this in epoxy. Um, that would actually help keep it from flying apart in high RPMs. But it does have a built-in fan, which is kind of cool. We just have to open up the holes so the, um, the fan will actually work properly. And what it's going to take to get this plate off. So that's kind of cool, eh? Yeah, so these holes all going to be opened at least this much. I'm not really too sure why they, I guess it's whatever die they put it in. It's stupid that it's got really tiny holes. Alright, so we got that off. That one's going to be opened up too. Here's the inside of the stator. This is A6. Really, 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 really thick stator wires. It could take a little bit of abuse. Sweet. Okay, so that's it, guys. What we'll do is I'll do another video and we'll uh, start modding this out. But I basically wanted to show you what it looked like on the inside. And uh, I'm actually surprised it has a fan in it. So um, by the time I'm done, this will all be drilled out. The fan stays. We'll put another fan on it. I want to dip this in some kind of metal epoxy to give it a little bit more strength because I have seen a few online that at high RPM these fly apart if they crack and you basically jam the motor up and it'll be garbage. So if you dip this in epoxy, that's uh, actually going to help. Just have to make sure we uh, rough it up a little bit so it sticks. And we'll do this in another video. Take it easy, guys.